In our Earth Matters series now, as the western United States endures yet another record heat wave on top of a long-running drought, it is not just experts who are alarmed. Citizens throughout the world are seeing dramatic changes to where they live. CNN's Lucy Kafanov has one dramatic example now. Salt Lake City's Great Salt Lake is disappearing. This is one of Utah's most unique natural treasures. The Great Salt Lake, also known as America's Dead Sea. Spanning an area nearly the size of Delaware, it's the biggest salt lake in the Western Hemisphere. That is just so pretty. Oh, so beautiful. But there's a big problem with this picture-perfect destination. The Great Salt Lake could soon be no more. Years of water diversions, climate change, and an unprecedented drought has pushed the lake's levels towards historic lows. Sailboats pulled from the dry marina, the receding water leaving behind stretches of parched soil. 20 years ago, this was under about 10 feet of water. Today, about half of the lake's surface, nearly 750 square miles, roughly the size of Maui, is dry. And that's a major worry for Kevin Perry, an atmospheric scientist at the University of Utah. Perry says the dry lake bed soil could send naturally occurring arsenic lace dust into the air that millions breathe. One of the concerns we have is the uh, particles that are coming off the lake getting into people's lungs. And a secondary concern is that it might contain potentially uh, harmful arsenic. Nothing is done to change the current trajectory. What's the worst case fear? This lake could become a one of the larger dust emission sources in North America. The ecosystem itself is on the verge of collapse. The Great Salt Lake is also a critically important habitat for millions of birds and happens to be one of the largest breeding grounds for pelicans in the United States. If we don't take action, what's going to happen to the Great Salt Lake? Great Salt Lake will be an environmental, economic, and really cultural catastrophe all in one. There's all of these um, brine fly larvae that... Jamie Butler is a wildlife biologist who's dedicated her entire career to studying the Great Salt Lake's ecosystem. For her, the crisis is personal. I grew up here. Like, you know, a place becomes you. It, like becomes you like we are great salt lake all of us are and we shouldn't let it go away andy wallace has spent years working on the great salt lake as a commercial pilot let's go take a ride have you ever seen it look like this i've never seen it this bad not in my lifetime we're seeing the start of a major major environmental catastrophe from up above the scale of the problem is obvious from 6,000 feet up, there's no question that this is a crisis. The Great Salt Lake is vanishing before our eyes. You can see on this side, the water is purple. The beautiful purple color actually means it's an unhealthy dying lake. It is. It's going to become an environmental catastrophe, and we're going to, we're going to see so much dust laden with heavy metals and, you know, mercury, and it's going to blow into the Salt Lake Valley. Uh, on a regular basis and exasperate health conditions. For years, people have been diverting water from rivers that flow into the lake to water crops and supply homes. Jamie Butler argues that needs to change. Is this a man-made problem? Yes. This is like a human-made problem. We need to change our behaviors to keep incredible ecosystems that include humans, like here at Great Salt Lake. And Jake, you can see the impact. This may look like a beach, but last summer, all of this was underwater. The loss of Great Salt Lake will have devastating consequences far beyond this region. One thing nearly everyone we've interviewed says is that it might not be too late to save it. The question is whether there's a will to act. Jake? Lucy Kapanov, thank you so much for that report.